Hello! Good evening! We are over at SeaWorld tonight and we are here for our second trip to the Seven Seas Food Festival. We have a habit of purchasing the lanyards when festivals open and it's about time that we head back and use the lanyard here. Yeah, I think we have, uh, we've got quite a few punches left which <laughs> means we have to go eat, we have to go drink, and we don't have to pay for dinner since it's already paid for, so. That's a bonus, let's go eat. Let's go. To start off our dinner adventure, we got ourselves a chili relleno and esquites, which is street corn and a parfait dish. The chili relleno smells really good. Let's see how it tastes. The flavors in it are really nice. The chili has nice peppery flavor. Here's the esquites. It is basically a take on street corn, but it's all removed from the cob. They filled up a dish with it. Um, there's some fresh cilantro on there, paprika, things like that. And then they put a little bit of cheese on top. It's pretty good. We found out when we got here that it's two pours after four, which means for one punch, which is about this much beer, you get two of them after four, which is great. I'm gonna do the IPA and Jason's gonna do the lager, but I could drink both IPAs if I really wanted to, but you know. know what to do with this thing. It is bending the stick. It is heavy. It is dripping. Don't get me wrong. It looks delicious, but I'm really not even sure how to manage when she just handed this to me. SeaWorld's on to something here. This is really, really good. It's a nice salty pretzel, doughy, dipped in chocolate. You can't beat it, but you can beat how to serve it to me. That is my only complaint is, again, I'm not really sure how to manage this, but it's yummy, so we'll need management very soon. This wiener schnitzel slider looks and smells good. The pork is nice and juicy, the breading is crispy. It actually looks good and it tastes even better than it looks. Again, pretzel was awesome, wiener schnitzel slider was awesome. I'm impressed with the German booth. The chocolate pretzel thing was actually delicious, but it was the messiest thing I think we've gotten in any food booth. It was dripping everywhere. But it was super good and it was a huge portion, so that was definitely worth the punch. The wiener schnitzel sandwich. I actually really enjoyed that and almost wanted to grab a second one. Loved it. We were just walking past the Gulf Coast Market over here by Wild Arctic and they have something on the menu that's called the Cajun Lobster Cheesecake with lingonberry. I don't know if I want it or not, but I couldn't walk by without at least getting it to taste it. So I need to know how this thing is. And I'm informed it is a dessert, even though it sounds like it should be a quiche. I don't know. Cheers. I'm not gonna lie, it's weird, but it's the kind of weird where I'm ready to go back in for another bite, not throw it out. It's in a weird sort of way good. This is the char siu bao. Mmm, it's very sweet. There's pineapple and the sauce that they put on there is super sweet. I love the flavor. We just had to find a spot to sit down and eat our shrimp mac and cheese and our key lime fritters. I will say Ed and I are dressed thinking it's still winter, wearing pants and t-shirts and it's getting to that other season here in Florida where it's a little bit humid. So we ate that really fast. We don't have much to show you for it, but Ed, what did you think? I think there's bugs. We haven't lived anywhere with gnats and mosquitoes in a while. But anyway, uh, the mac and cheese was okay. It wasn't like the most flavorful, but it was a good idea. The key lime fritters were really good. They made them right there in front of us, which was great. They were made to order. I really enjoyed them a lot. 
I had fun tonight coming back for the Seven Seas Food Festival. Again, you probably could tell by this video, the mission was not necessarily fun and rides. The mission tonight was let's eat our way around SeaWorld. And I'm really happy we did that. This was one of the best food festivals. A lot of the food's way more enjoyable. And a big thing I want to point out too, the prices are way better. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's an item over $6.99. Oh, wait. My Cajun lobster cheesecake was $7.49. Okay, so one thing over $7. I will also say, for a large food festival, they have a wide variety of food. Yeah. And you kind of start to wonder if everything is going to be good when they're making all those different foods. It is. They've somehow managed to get a line of like chefs and staff out there that's making everything that does a really good job at all different kinds of food. And yes, the bugs keep getting us out here tonight. It is one of those early spring nights, humidity's up, and the bugs are feasting as well. We lived for four years in Arizona. There wasn't a whole lot of humidity. This is an adjustment period. <laughs> if you're in Orlando during this food festival, check it out. You will definitely enjoy yourself. And it is running till May 5th. Yeah. So leave a comment down below about the thing that you're most excited for if you're on your way to the Seven Seas Food Festival before it ends. Yeah. And otherwise, if you love our videos of us stuffing our faces, that seems to be our theme lately. <laughs> That's not a good theme. <laughs> we'll change that. But if you like it, feel free to give us a thumbs up and make sure to click that subscribe button and the bell that's next to it to be notified every time we upload a new video. Yeah, find your friends, your family, whoever, and share. And share. We were just heading out for the night and realized we might not have told you yet. We want to get postcards and any souvenirs from your travel near and far. We want you to share that with us because we want to put it on a wall behind our desk for when we do videos from home. That means a lot to us as, as the traveling husbands, travel's our favorite thing. So we want to see where you've been. Be sure to send us, like I said, postcard or anything from your travels to the Traveling Husbands, PO Box 126, Lofman, Florida. That's L-O-U-G-H-M-A-N, Florida, 33858. And we'd love to show off everything you send us from the wall behind our desk. We'll put that address in the description below too. Happy travels from us.